Hi, this is John Hug from VoltDB, and today I'm going to go over the first steps in getting started with VoltDB, that is downloading Volt from the website and getting it running for the first time. So before we start, VoltDB requires Java JDK 1.7 or Java JDK 1.8. You can just Google for JDK uh, and download the version that's right for your machine. Uh, you have to remember to click the Accept License button to make sure that that download will work. Uh, you need a recent operating system, newer than 2012 or so, but uh, newer is certainly better. 8 gigabytes of RAM is recommended. Uh, we will run on 4, but not, not as well. And performance varies on laptops. That's something just to keep in mind. Depending on the hardware you have, you may see very different numbers. So uh, this video is for a Mac. Uh, however, the steps are pretty much identical on Linux. It's going to be the same process. Well, let's get started. We're going to go to the VoltDB.com homepage. And we're going to go up here to click on the download button. Here we are at the VoltDB download page where I can download a trial of the VoltDB Enterprise Edition. Uh, my information is already filled out. You can fill out your information here. And one of the main purposes of this video is to show what happens when you click submit. What is the process from clicking submit all the way through running VoltDB? I'll show you how easy it is. So I'm going to start by clicking submit here. It's going to take me a page that says thank you and tell me to check my inbox. So now I'm just waiting a few moments for an email to arrive. I'm in my email now. And the email from VoltDB with the download link has arrived. I click on it. And it's essentially just a link to the VoltDB download page. So I'm going to click on that now. OK, so this gives me several options. For downloading VoltDB, I'm going to click on Download to Download a Kit, but I could also be trying it in the cloud or using Docker, a couple other things. Uh, and this gives me several, di several different varieties depending on how I want to install VoltDB. I'm going to click on the Mac version, and it's going to start to download the Mac kit. Okay, now I'll just wait for it to finish downloading. VoltDB has now downloaded. I'm going to go up to the download list open up VoltDB in my finder. I'm going to double click it to untar it and double click that folder. And some important folders here, I've got my bin folder which has the VoltDB commands. I'm going to run one in a second. I've got the examples folder which has sample applications for VoltDB and the documentation folder which contains all of the PDF documentation from our user guides, uh, the Java doc for writing procedures, and tutorial code that goes along with the docs. So to start VoltDB I'm going to start the terminal. I'm going to cd to download oops, uh, VoltDB. And to start it, I run bin VoltDB. This is the command to start Volt. And I'm going to type create, because I want to create a new empty VoltDB server. I'm just going to say this is a trial of the Enterprise Edition. Uh, it's going to take a second to initialize disk persistence. Uh, and it's going to warn me that I don't have any redundancy because I'm just running on a laptop. Yep server completed initialization. So now to see that that's running, I can go up here and type localhost 8080. And that's going to show me my Volt management console. So I can see that I have one active node. It'll track RAM usage, CPU, and since I don't have any workload or anything running on here, there's not much in these graphs. Uh, you can start to see the points down at the bottom. The latency is very low because I'm not doing any work. Uh, but there's a lot of information here, and if you come back at our next video, we'll actually run a Volt application, and we'll take a look at more things the Volt Management Console can do. So that's zero to running with VoltDB. Thank you very much.